So funny story. I was halfway into watching Sonic the Hedgehog 2 yesterday and the power went out. Not just throughout the entire theater, but the entire mall. It was pitch black. Everyone had to evacuate. We got our free tickets for next time. It was just a shit show. I did take these rings that were on the concession stand. I don't know if I was supposed to take them, but they're all mine now. Ow, my slide! been a year daddy but if you thought i wasn't still obsessed with sonic the hedgehog you'd be wrong because it got worse i got almost every new character that came out since got almost all the sonic 2 posters to go with my sonic 1 posters and of course watched sonic 2 by far the best video game movie ever made which is surprising considering that it's a sonic movie and if you know anything about sonic you know that cinematics aren't exactly his thing. As if I wasn't already obsessed with this movie before. It was then amplified to 10,000. Oh god, help me. I was really excited to see Jack Specific's figures. So here I am about to review figures that came out fucking months ago. Because I'm very smart. <laughs> anyway, with all that, we all know Sonic. We all know he likes to go fast, not waste time. So now let's get into why. The first Sonic movie was the last movie I saw before the pandemic in 2020. And it was really goddamn good. So good, in fact, that it was the best video game movie at that time. And it invitalized the Sonic fandom. For better or for worse. Stop! Stop! What? Stop! What? As awesome as this first movie was, there was no merchandise for it. And I think we all know why. But that changed with Sonic 2, as Jack's Pacific went full force on the merchandise and gave us brand new action figures. Yo, yo, yo! Ah! <laughs> One! Our very first Sonic movie figure. A figure I've wanted since 2020, and he doesn't disappoint. Look at how good this head looks. Just by looking at it, you couldn't tell this was a $10 figure. Which is crazy considering the sculpt is very simple. This looks exactly like Sonic in the movie. It's like actually perfect. I see no way they could have made it better. Oh, but wait, they did make it better, cause Jax is just like that. You son of a bitch. <laughs> his fur is detailed throughout the entire body. And despite not having the brand name on them, his Puma shoes are sculpted perfectly. They even got the treads at the bottom of the feet. I mean, come on, man. There's very little paint on the figure, but what's there is really good. His eyes are crisp, his shoes are red. His stomach patch looks good, but there's this weird spike on the side of it. I'm not really sure what that's about. Also, it seems Sonic is branded like most cattle. What? But the thing that pushes this figure over the edge for me is his articulation. For the most part, the articulation is exactly the same as the video game figure. He's got that swivel at his head, hands, and feet. He's got bends at the arms, legs, and knees. So yeah, man, articulation is pretty much exactly the same. Uh, hey, hey, is that a... Is that, is that a motherfucking... Elbow joint? Son of a bitch. You hear me, right, Spider? This one little piece of articulation makes the figure absolutely amazing to play with. It really goes to show how one point of articulation can change the entire figure. Isn't that right, McFarlane? Where's the thigh swivel? <laughs> this figure is very fucking cool. It's such a good figure, I'd buy it three more times if I could. And... We got the Sonic Movie Collection Pack, featuring Sonic in three outfits he's worn throughout his two movies. Hey, so I switched to my regular setup now, so... I'm not trying to scare you, but there's a camera and a microphone in this device. I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop. That boy is stuck in time. Oh, that's a this is Baseball Sonic, based on his look from the second Sonic movie. Except not really, because in that scene he's wearing a mask and this figure just has a big ass hat. It wasn't in the first movie either, that is a fucking helmet. But I appreciate the new sculpt. 
While this figure reuses the arms and legs from the previous Sonic figure, the heads are completely different, even the eyes. Here you can see they're outlined and bigger, as opposed to the original action figure. Torso's new with the chest protector, I think that's what it's called. The catcher's mitt also looks really good. A new sculpted part, something we don't even see with Legends today. He's got the same articulation as the other Sonic figure, so any poses you want to put him in, he can pull it off. Overall, very fun. This figure certainly doesn't miss. Get it? He's a catcher. <laughs> Alright, time to move on. And just what makes my sl I mean, good friend think he can take a break? Mm, I don't know, man. I'm just not really feeling it today. Well, you better feel something really fast before you get this ass whooping. How's about you feel some grass? You didn't have to cut me off. Like this is Party Sonic from that scene in the movie where he thought he was hot shit and destroyed the entire house. Look at this Sonic with his smug ass glasses. Couldn't afford a headband, so we just used Tom's ties. Behind those glasses are the eyes of a cold blue mosquito. Die, mosquito! Look at this motherfucker with his gold chain and his Greek robes. Just a smug fucking- You're not Cardi, bro. That's what this figure is, bro. He thinks he's Cardi, and I'm not gonna let that slide. No big surprise, his articulation is exactly the same as the previous Sonics. Maybe expect some limited movement because of the skirt. Oh, it's not limited at all. The skirt is so soft, it doesn't affect the articulation. I guess you showed me. Very cool figure, he's just a dickhead. Now here's the last figure in the three pack, the one I dubbed Snow Sonic, because obviously he's dressed for the summer. To sum this figure up in a few words, he's just so fucking cute. I'm not afraid to say that. My masculinity is still intact. Son of a bitch. Oh fuck yeah, we're men. I like manly shit. Yeah, son of a bitch, motherfucker. Ah! I love this Sonic with his big fluffy hat and his cute little scarf. His big jacket and fluffy pants. Shut up! But on a real note, this figure is completely brand new. The other two figures had some reuse. Obviously not the case here with this new jacket, as well as his new legs. And I like how the shoes are consistent throughout all the figures. Now this figure is, for lack of a better term, a brick. That's to be expected with a design like this, but they still gave him some decent articulation for this look. His head can move from left to right, not restricted by the scarf at all since it's a separate piece. His arms can actually move a lot higher than I thought they would. I really like what they did with the hands. They're on a ball joint, which makes them very fluid. His legs move forward, but not really. But his knees actually bend pretty well. So I guess you can have him sort of running. Snow Sonic is very cool. That's right, everybody. It's your favorite boy. Get the fuck out or- And I really like this. I love this whole three pack in general because even though these are just some random looks Sonic had, Jax put a lot of effort into them. There's not even that much reuse. I think the most they've reused are the arms and legs from the original Sonic, but at the very least, the heads are different on each of them. The amount of effort Jax gave to these figures is truly spectacular and is part of the reason why I play with them so much. It's just a fun little set and I'm glad I picked it up. Sonic the Hedgehog could come up with something like that. What the fuck? Is that Shadow's dick? Behold, the best figure of all time. A figure so awesome and legendary, I don't know how my house hasn't collapsed from the sheer presence of this beast. This manly figure. Notice as his perfect mustache is sculpted perfectly with a beautiful gradient brown that transitions from a darker brown to a lighter brown. And this face has so much personality. It doesn't have any face printing tech or anything fancy like that, but you can tell this is Jim Carrey's Eggman. And look at the back of this motherfucker's dome. Ah! 
That actually looks really good. That looks like a bald head. His goggles are painted with a nice metallic red for the lenses. Very nice go- Wait a minute. How are they on his head like that? There's no strap. <laughs> oh my god, his goggles are being held on by Bluetooth. You didn't have to cry. Notice as his jacket is detailed with all the black highlights and gold accents. Despite being only $10, they did not skip out on any detail and painted nearly everything. I think some toy manufacturers could take notes. Now true, he kind of has these Lego hands going on. And when compared to the other figures, he's not in scale. Well, at least the Lego hands allow him to hold accessories. Every single figure in this line comes with an accessory, but Eggman comes with two, cause he's real like that. Every figure comes. Oh, holy shit. Oh shit. I completely forgot the Sonic from this wave comes with the snowboard. Uh, my bad. He comes with the egg bot from the movie. Very well done. It's missing the red light in the front, but you know, who cares? I really like that these parts come up so you can have them in battle ready mode. Obviously, there's no way to get these up in the air without a stand, so I guess you're gonna have to pretend like it's an attack dog or something. And of course, he comes with the latte with steamed Austrian goat milk. Hey Jax, at the off chance you're watching this video, please, please, please make an Agent Stone figure, I beg you. Everyone use the hashtag, hashtag make Agent Stone. We need to make this a reality. And as if this figure wasn't already legendary enough, his articulation is actually really good. His head can look left and right, no up and down, but that's fine. He's got the same arm joints as Sonic. But then they gave him double jointed elbows and oh my gosh, they almost work too good. And looking at the hands closer, you can see they actually added the fucking hand controller glove that he has in the movie. That is fucking awesome. Unfortunately, there is no wrist or bicep swivel, but this is a $10 figure. You got to cut some slack. Now the skirt does get in the way of the articulation. So he has nice hip joints, but unfortunately they can't kick or spread that good. It's good enough, you know. Oh, what could this be? Is this a thigh swivel? It's that easy. A $10 figure adds the articulation of a thigh swivel and your collectible articulated $20 line refuses oh. to add it. Check fucking mate. Uh, okay, getting back on track. Um, he has double jointed knees and his foot only moves up and down. What I'm saying is, he's fucking awesome. His articulation is better than McFarlane figures. I mean, look, no McFarlane figure can do this. Now, if sex was a figure, it would be Ned, but this comes at a close second. The fact that they even gave him this kind of articulation at all is fucking amazing. Now true, you're not really gonna pose Eggman all crazy, but at least you can have him beat the shit out of Sonic in style. Besides Sonic, I think this is a must-get of the entire wave. This figure is... evolution. No one knows how to make better toys than me. I'm sorry, sir, what was your name? Todd- NOBODY CARES! Nobody cares! Listen, Todd, nobody cares. You know why no one cares about DC Multiverse? It's because nobody cares about your mediocre Batmans. And nobody cares that your boomer fans keep saying that how's bros worse. Have you looked at your quality control? Spoiler alert, you're worse than Hasbro. But every company is better than what you shit out. Oh, good figures. Look what came out of my asshole. You know what I love about toy companies? Good character selection. They listen to their fans. They don't need to make excuses like female figures make you serial killers. Now you do what you're told. Get back in your office and do what you do best. Make another shitty Batman. Can you feel it, Tiz? Oh, I feel it, criminal. It's evolution, Tiz. It's evolution! Man, I'm kind of fucking hungry. I'm in the mood for some grapes. Oh no. What the fuck? Son of a bitch. My grapes. They're gone. Your society is full of soft and undisciplined weaklings. However, I do enjoy the planet's grapes. The grapes are delicious. Oh no! You know him, it's the Fighting Freak Knuckles in his action figure from the movie. Right off the bat, this head looks amazing. Oh no!
This head looks amazing. I think besides Sonic, this is the best looking figure. He actually looks like he jumped straight out of the movie. The detail on his fur is amazing, as well as his purple eyes. They are purple because he likes grapes. They got his stupid uh, moon-shaped fur patch thingy. And whoever did his dreads were on point. Sheesh. And the fade up in the back? Knuckles, I need your barber. Beefy arms and big ass hands. Beautiful knuckles. The hands in like a grabbing motion just so he can grab his accessory. And of course, we cannot forget his iconic Lego shoes. Open this eyes up there hiding from the storms. I love this detail. Love this figure, it goes harder than my penis. For his accessory, he comes with a snowboard. Looks like a piece of one of Robotnik's machines. It is the exact same accessory that came with the Sonic figure. There are two pegs, you just plug them into the holes on the bottom of each of their foot. And now it's time to board! Aqua would never do this. As most of you know, I have a dog. Very nice dog, I love him, but sometimes he gets the craving to chew some stuff. And today I guess he was just clamoring for some accessories, because this is what my Sonic snowboard looks like now. Knuckles' articulation is, for the most part, okay. The real source of my stress is his dreads here. For some reason, Jax made it out of this very hard material, meaning it's a pain in the fucking ass to turn his head from left to right. It's so much of a pain I wouldn't even waste your time. If you want him to look to the left or the right, you gotta pop off the head and put it on said direction. Pain in the ass, but it works. The rest of the articulation is the same as Sonic's. You got your shoulder joint, your elbow joint, your wrist swivel, your hip hinge, your knee bend, and foot swivel. Very awesome figure, just be careful of the dreads. Oh no! I'm dizzy, and I have serious short-term memory loss. And I have serious short-term memory loss. Here is Miles Tails Prower, the last figure of Wave 1 of the Sonic 2 movie figures. Yes, he is leaning on his tails because if I don't, he will die. So yeah, right off the bat, first issue, you gotta have the tails leaning down or else he will fall and die. I mean, you can balance him like this. But what are you fucking nuts? Who would ever do this? It was me. Here you can see Tails kinda doesn't look right. Maybe it's the fact he has no eyelashes. Maybe his pupils are too small. Either way, this head looks accurate, but it kinda gives me the creeps. Well, at least his little hair tuff is there. Nice white paint. I did notice this Tails looks a bit chunkier than he does in the movie. Maybe it's based off his design in Sonic 1. And we got his nicely detailed shoes, looking a lot like Sonic's, but not exactly. I guess he bought a Yeezy <laughs> ripoff. And of course, his tails. Really like how big they look. The white section is actually separate. They are together like this, so if you want to stand them up, it's going to be kind of hard. So here's his accessory, and holy shit, that's a straight up gun. I mean, nicely detailed, but no tails put that down, you're a miner. <laughs> No, please, no. What are you doing to Sonic, though? No. So Articulation should sound familiar at this point. He's got swivel head, all the hinges in the world. But a word of caution, you gotta be careful with the elbow joints. I mean, look at how fragile that looks. And this figure is very soft, so be careful not to tear anything. Yes, his tails do rotate. In fact, they're on the small ball joint, so you can move them a little bit up and down. They're so big, you can balance on them. Like, that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's it for this line. Kind of a bummer to end off on Tails, no offense, buddy. But these figures, as simple as they are, are absolutely fantastic. I've never had so much fun posing around figures that aren't even considered highly collectible. And I guess others agree because they made a wave too. Now, most of these figures are repaints, but I would really like to get that Super Sonic. I'll probably never find it though. I mean, I guess these figures by themselves are okay. Oh wait, I have Super Sonic because I bought him early because I love you guys. Son of a bitch. Uh,
Life is complete. There's only one god and his name is Sonic the Hedgehog. This figure saw minus QC issues. What? Please, please just hear me out, please. Oh. There's some paint missing on one eye. The smile doesn't line up. And he's got waxy ears. Fuck? But besides that, I've never been this hard for a piece of plastic in my life. The bodies reuse as you'd expect, but they fix the outline on the stomach patch, and the new hair looks so sharp. I mean, the yellow they use really makes it look like this figure is glowing. Here he is next to the video game Super Sonic, both incredible. I really like how the video game figure looks like he's mean though. I really wish the movie figure was like that. Well, since this figure is reuse of the blue figure, we know it's very articulated. All the points of the previous Sonic is there, so you know this man poses very well. And his accessory is, of course, the Baster Emerald. Made out of a translucent green plastic, this emerald is so beautiful I'd wear it as my wedding ring. No, they did not reuse this from the video game figure. As you can see, the Master Emerald is way bigger, just like how it was in the movie. What else can I say about this figure? Other than that, it's absolutely impeccable, just like this whole line. I've wanted a Sonic movie figure since the first movie and they just pop off with two amazing waves? I couldn't be happier. These figures are so fun to pose and play with, take pictures of and play with. Oh, it's like that? Okay, we're not friends. Later, hater! Abna! You see who that is? Huh? It's your mom! These figures are, for lack of a better term, way past cool. Hello everyone, it's me, Mr. Criminal. I just want to say a big thank you to my friend Alex on Instagram. He's the one that sold me Knuckles and Tails for a ridiculously awesome price all those months ago. Thank you bro, you're awesome. Go show him some love. But first you gotta...